So let's solve this uh, system of linear equations in two variables. Well, basically when you're solving, you're going to try to match equations and pick one variable that you want to eliminate. So I'm gonna start looking at, I'm going to start looking at one and two. Well, I, I focus on eliminating variable Z, okay? So one and two. And since I want to eliminate variable Z, I want them to have opposite sign and, and um, same opposite sign and same coefficient. So that means I want a negative two here. So then I'm going to multiply the entire equation one by negative two, by positive two. So multiply. equation number one by two. So my, I'm going to have two X plus two Y minus two Z equals negative two. And the second equation, since I don't wanna change anything, it's going to be the same equation. So that's four X minus three y plus two z equals 16. So from that, I'm going to eliminate variable uh, z to create another equation. Since we already have three, I call it four, for example. So by adding, I cancel z. So that's a uh, six X minus Y equals 14. That's my equation number four. Now I also want to eliminate Z by matching two other equations. Well, in this case, I can match two and three, one and three as well. But I see if I match one and three, it'll make it easier for me to cancel Z by multiplying by positive three, negative three and cancel Z. So let me match one and three. And then let me multiply equation one by negative three. So that's gonna be negative negative three x minus three y plus three z equals positive three. And the second, the third equation stays the same two x minus two y minus three z equals five, right? And then I have this. So let's uh, add. When we add x, z, z is gone. And I'm left with negative x minus 5y equals 8. So that's my equation number 5. So let me match 4 and 5. That will basically be... Uh, a system of two equations in two variables, X and Y. So we can solve for one of them, right? So uh, I'm going to match them. So that is six X minus Y equals 14 and then negative x minus 5y, 5y equals 8. So 
let's get into x x by multiply the 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 bottom one the four and five by let's multiply five instead so that's four that's four and that's five we'll multiply uh five by five by six let's multiply five by six so that'd be six and that is 30 and that is 48 all right so that cancels the x. We got negative 31y equals negative 31y equals 40. Is that 62? 62. And then we divide by negative 31. So we got y equals negative two. So we got y equals negative two. We got the y, let's see, we can substitute. We can substitute y equals negative 2 into one of the 4 and 5 to find to find x, right? So let's replace it into 5. So that is negative x minus 5 times negative 2 equals 8. Negative x equals, say, plus 10 equals 8. So negative x equals 8 minus 10. x equals, negative x equals negative 2. And x equals 2. We also have, we have x. Now, since we have x, we can substitute x equals 2 and y equals negative 2 into uh, 1, if you want, to find that will take us to, uh, that will give you us the z, right? So 1 is x plus y minus z equals negative 1. So that is 2 plus negative 2 minus z equals negative 1. x plus y minus z equals negative 1. So that is negative z equals negative 1. So z equals 1. And the solution is a unique solution in this case. That's a unique solution. X is 2, Y is negative 2, and Z is 1. So that is the solution for the system. And it's one, it's the, in this case, you have a unique solution. All right. So now let's see this second example here where we have a system and now when it when you have a problem it's not going to be you're not going to be told you know that it's it's a inconsistent what type of system it is but in this case i'm since i'm showing you the situation based on based on cases so i want you to understand when each case is in front of you so in this case you're going to be solving a system of three equations in three variables that is inconsistent. So that's how you're going to, when the case appear, cases appear, you will know, oh, okay, so that's an inconsistent case and that's how the solution is going to be presented. So this case, 
those this case that we just solved it was a consistent and independent equation where you can have a unique solution so that was a consistent and independent system where you have a unique solution. Okay? And that's the only case where you're going to have a unique solution. In other cases, it's, still, it's always going to be uh, some type of uh, no solution if it's an inconsistent and dependent uh, um if it's an inconsistent and dependent dependent um system there will be no solution and if you have an inconsistent and independent then you would have an infinitely many solution so let's see this one well, we will process the same way, right? So you have, I, I see that it's easy to cancel X or Y or Z if we match one and two. So let's work with one and two. And, uh, you know, I want to eliminate X so that I'm going to multiply. You can make the choice to eliminate what whichever variable you want. So I multiply equation number two by, by negative two, okay? So first one remains the same. That's two X plus Y minus Z equals negative two. And then the bottom one multiplied by negative two is that negative two X, um, negative two X, negative four Y, and positive 2z equals 18. So that cancels the 2x. Then I'm going to have negative 3y um, plus z equals 16. So that's my equation number, 14, number 4, right? And then next... Now, since you already um, canceled or eliminated X, your next step, you need to eliminate the same variable so you can have a, a, a new system for five that includes the same variables that you have, that, that include the same variable variables. And so you can um, move on the next step where you're solving a, a, your new system of two equations um so basically we will we we can do the same thing that we did well since we took one and two here and i see that uh three and four two and and three sorry two and three we can work with them and cancel x so i would i mean we can always work with them but it's easy in this case to solve to work with them so let's uh let's match um uh, two and and three, where we are trying to cancel the same variable that we canceled from um one and two, this that was x. So to do so, we can either multiply equation two by negative one or equation one by negative one, and that will give you the result that you're looking for. So let's uh, multiply. Let's multiply. Uh, equation two by negative one. So that's negative, negative two, <clears throat> negative X, negative X minus two Y plus Z equals nine. We multiply by negative one. And then the second number three remains the same X minus four Y, uh, plus z equals one. So we'll create equation number five that is negative six y plus two z equals 10. 
can even divide by two, negative two if you want. So that's um, 3y minus z equals five. So that's equation number five. So let's match four and five. Gonna match four and five. Four and five, that is negative three y plus z. And negative three y plus z equals 16. And then the five is three y minus z equals three y minus z equals five. So this is what we see here. And when we uh, when we do addition, we'll see that, right? What happens here? You get um that's get that cancels out, and that cancels out, then you get um uh, zero equals 21. equals 21. Now, what do you think? This is, uh, this proves this result proves that the system The system is inconsistent and consistent and for a system that is inconsistent for a system that is inconsistent Solution set is solution is the empty set. Solution is the empty set. So your solution S solution empty set symbol is This. So you have an inconsistent system which has a solution that is empty, right? Because this is not true. This case, in this case, this is not true. And when, when you, once you have a statement, you're solving an equation and you find a statement that is not true, zero can't be 21. So it proves that the system is inconsistent. And for a system that is inconsistent, the solution is the empty set. So because there is no solution, it's empty. Now let's see uh, this system here. Well, they did not tell us what anything about it. And now we're gonna solve it and see what, what's the outcome. So we process the same way. Let me uh, match, let, let's match one and two because Z can be eliminated easily. So I'm gonna start with one and two. Well, we don't need to multiply anything because by adding Z is gone. So that's uh, X minus two Y minus Z equals eight and 2x minus 3y plus z equals equals uh 23 right and then by adding z is cancelled then we got 3x minus 5y equals 28 uh, that's 31 
So that's my equation number five. That's my equation number four. That's my equation number four. So let's uh, see what scenario would be best for us to create the equation number four. But we want to eliminate Z, right? I will do one and three. So one and three, I'm multiplying uh, one by five. I'm multiplying one by five, right? So that will take me to this scenario where I have uh, one multiplied by five. So that's five X minus 10 Y, five uh, X minus 10 Y uh, minus five Z equals, equals 40, right? And then the second equation, I leave it just like it is. So that is 2x minus 3y plus z uh, plus. Uh, no, that's not the equation I'm, I'm copying over. I'm copying 3, right? So that's 4x minus 5y and plus 5z equals 53 by adding z is cancelled so i'm like i'm left with 9 9x 9x minus 15y minus 15y equals um i guess that's uh 93 93 right and since i see that 3 is all over the place i can divide by 3 every term of this equation or even by negative three. Um, so if you want to divide by three, that's fine too. So then that takes me to negative three Z plus five Y equals negative 31. That's my equation number five. You know what? Let me divide by, let me divide by three instead. That will allow me to make that conclusion better in this case. Uh, okay, so that's 3z. Actually, that's x. That's an x, right? Because z is gone. That's 3x minus 5y equals 31. That's uh, that's uh, for, um, equation number five, all right? So now I have my equation number five and number four. Let me bring them closer to see, to take a look at them. So bringing them closer would be me copying the, you know, let me copy five, right? And then and then let me copy four over, right? And then see, take a look, a closer look at them. <laughs> a closer look tells me that the system of equation formed by the two is identical. Well, I'm saying that the, the equations are identical. Well, when you have identical equations, that's the same scenario when I was showing you in the plane where you have them lie on top of each other. It's the same line. Now, what do you say? What do you say in the situation? Well, this situation is that this is one equation by itself, right? This is one equation by itself so given that um i created those two equations by matching one with two and one with three so i'm gonna take one because one was part of the system so i'm gonna create a new system that is that is x the one equation one x minus two y minus z equals eight x. So this is one equation. And then the system, the new system that I'm going to create will be the one that consider these one these two as one 
as one system, one equation. So x minus 2, y minus z equals 8. And then the second equation will be one of the two. It doesn't matter because they are the same. So I take the, so that's going to be this one here. And the third equation will be anything, zero, zero, zero equals zero or whatever, right? So now, because when you added these two, it'll be zero. So anything, or if you want to call it Z equals Z, that's also fine. Okay. Now, what do we do next? We can, you can kind of find one equation here. So solve this one for one equation. Say, I want to solve, I want to solve this one for Y, for example, right? Or for X. So let me solve this one for X, for example. So that'll be X equals 31 plus 5Y over 3, correct? And from that, I can go to my equation. You know what? Let me call this one Z equals Z. Or Z being a real number. Z A real number. Or Z equals Z. Okay. And then I can go into, into the equation this uh, the the first equation to replace x by to replace x by uh let me replace x by uh, uh 31 plus 5y equal uh, over 3 so that is substitute x equals 31 plus 5y over 3 into equation 1, right? You remember that was 1. So that's 31 plus 5y over 3 minus uh, 2y minus z equals eight. And then now we're gonna solve this one for y. So that is, let me multiply by three to break down the, the denominator. 31 plus five y minus six y minus three z equals 24. Okay, so that's, uh. 31 minus y minus 3z equals 24. If I subtract everything, y equals 31, 24 minus 21, 31, 24 minus 31 equals negative 7. So that's uh, 3z minus 7. Or y equals negative 3z plus 7. Negative 3z plus 7 is the value of y. And then if I go back to the x value to replace, or if I go back here to replace, so this is like x 3x equals, this is like 3x equals, uh, 31 plus 5y, right? So if I replace y into this equation, let me substitute y. Let's substitute 
y equals negative 3z plus 7 into x. So we can have it. So we can have it into as as y in terms of y because y is the real number that we fixed. So then that is um, 3x equals 31 plus y equals that. So that's 5 times negative 3z plus 7. 3x equals 31 minus 15x, 15z. 31 minus 15z and then plus 35, right? And then 3x equals, 3x equals uh, negative 15z. Is it plus 35 or minus? It's plus 35. So that's uh, 31 plus 35. That's 66. Then if we divide by 2, we got x equals uh, 3, sorry. If we divide by 3 to isolate the x, we got x equals negative 5z plus 22. Negative 5z plus 22. So we got x in terms of z. We got y in terms of z. Now we can present the solution as you know that as a set depending on a real number we call it z in this case because this is going to be a case where you have a infinitely many solution and your solution here is the set of xyz solution is the set of x, y, z, such that x equals, your x is negative five. Let me erase this, this page here, this page number. So x equals, what did we find for x? x is negative 5z plus 22. And then uh, y equals what we found here, negative 3z plus z plus 7. And then z is a real number. When I say z is a real number, once I get a z, I pick a z, then I get the x and the y. So say z equals zero, z equals zero, um, that's going to be, x is going to be negative five plus 22, 17, and y is going to be, uh, so here's what I'm trying to say. If if z equals zero, then you plug it here. You're going to have x equals negative uh, 5 times zero plus 22. Uh, and then y is going to be negative uh, 3 times zero. That uh, This is not 17. So times zero plus 7. So your ordered pair will be x equals 22, y equals 7, and z equals zero. And any x, any z value will give you um, any real number you pick for z, it'll give you an x and a y. So that's why your solution in this case is infinitely many solution because for z, you can pick any real value and the real values are infinite. So that's why this solution is an infinitely many solution. And you know you have an infinitely many solution once you got this equa equation that is a complete system, that is a, I mean, th the solution that is a unique problem for two equations. You got four and five that are one equation. That's when you know that you have an 
undef um infinitely many solutions. Okay. All right. So now that we 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 finish that, uh, we just finished the this equation that is going to be. I mean, these two equations or everything here conclude with the system of linear equations in two and three variables, and then we're going to see the next lesson that is. Um, matrices.